What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Six out of eight, seven out of eight players in the queue. All right. All right. Wow, mana drain and a time walk. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can't even see it. Look how sad that is. You guys don't even get to know. I'm not even going to show you. All right, I'll show you. Mana drain and time walk. Boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. It's got to be time walk, but boy, is it. it doesn't feel great. We're also putting someone squarely in blue. And then that demonic tutor's getting getting snatched up too. Good grief. Oh. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to answer this call from Katie real quick because she had her boards exam today. She's big stressed right now. All right, we got a Tinker, which is pretty good. And I don't mind taking it. Something about carps. <laughs> yeah, let's take Tinker. If we're taking Time Walk, it doesn't put us very squarely in Emrakul territory. I guess we could still through the... Oh, look, it almost gave me Emrakul. This is why you gotta, you gotta be careful. Thank you. They'll, they'll try to get you. Oh, Dennis, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. Um, Everflying Chalice facil facilitates Tinker. So does Coast Chrome Host Seed Shark. I kind of like Seed Shark here. I could see taking Delta, but without knowing that we're going to be... I, I We don't even know if we're going to be a second color, let alone... Uh, specifically black let me take mere battle sphere here actually grief is good but i think with tinker i'd rather stick with the deck that's going to be able to tinker tinker and stinker mystic forge do we just go in on this mystic forge yeah, we're going in on the Mystic Forge. We're going to live the Mystic Forge dream with the mono blue deck and take this cryptic. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk, though. Oh, man. We're not going to be able to get both back, that's for sure. There's only 10 cards in this pack, and I doubt one of these two will come back. I think I like Gear Hulk better here. I think the potential is a little bit better. It's also an artifact. Like, we could tinker into it as well if we really needed to. Oh, Retrofitter Foundry. Seems good. Also, Mind Slaver is a thing. All right. I'm liking the way this is looking so far. We can make these a little bigger, right? Nothing here is exciting, so that's unfortunate. Why do we call it house again? Can someone explain it to me? Because a citadel is not a house. So I don't really understand why we call it a house. Um, uh, I'll just take Lauren, I guess. Oh, wow. I did not expect this Demonic Tutor to table. What? Well, we're definitely taking Demonic Tutor. And now I'm wishing we took Thief of Sanity last pack because... Wow. 
I, I just was, I was expecting because we passed this in pack one that someone would have taken it and it would have put them into black. Fascinating. Yogmoth might be decent with, uh, Wow, really wish me took Bitter Blossom or, or Thief of Sanity. That would have been kind of ridiculous. I mean, Frexian or is cute, but we're definitely going to be able to find better artifacts than that. I don't care about Mind's Desire. Lurus could be good. I think we're just taking Yogmoth here. I think Call of the Ring is pretty good. We could Blue Sun Zenith, actually, and if we get um, some infinite mana production, it could actually kill them. You have probably explained it, but why the change to the chat font? Uh, I have not explained it. I so wow, paradoxical outcome, huh? We're not there yet, but maybe we take it. Um, I'm a huge Art Deco fan, and I feel like I've catered a lot of my stream layout to Art Deco. This is a font called Decor Rothen. It's like an Art Deco -y font. Um, I looked for a bunch of different fonts, and I really liked this one. And so that's what my, the social media links in the upper right, that's what that is. I put a little sub goal down there and that's what that is. Um, so I'm just like trying to unify, like one of the things I, I really dislike about UI design is when there's like 14 different fonts on it on any particular screen. Um, so whenever possible, I try to unify the fonts that I'm using. But a lot of times it's it's not that easy because sometimes you don't actually have the ability to customize your fonts and the overlays without messing with like the CSS or the HTML. So I don't really want to go too far into it <laughs> and figure all that out. But if I can just literally, uh, you know, change the font, then that's a lot more satisfying. I'll take a Cabal Ritual. Okay, so the black really didn't pan out, and the blue kind of dried up, and the artifacts dried up as well. So I'm really hoping I can pick up some things that uh, don't feel terrible. Would you kindly use Comic Sans? No. No, I would not. I don't dislike Comic Sans, and I think Comic Sans is actually a very fine font. The problem with Comic Sans is using it in inappropriate places. Urza is a gentleman. And also, if Watergrave or Xander's Lounge come back, I'll be fine. If Basalt Monolith comes back, I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it's Urza. Um, yeah, we're going to take the Urza. I think I think we can get Thrandino, Basalt Monolith, or any of the lands back. So we'll definitely get another playable out of that pack. Let me put Yogmoth over here. I'll put De Demonic Tutor over here. Like, I don't think Demonic Tutor should have come back. Uh, I have seen the SNL skit about the Papyrus font because it's a Ryan Gosling skit. And Ryan Gosling is wonderful. I kind of want to take this Magma Opus, especially because we have Torrential Gear Hulk here. And if we're mono blue, this is the kind of thing I want to be doing. So we're going to take Magma Opus. The only other option I could see would be Sensei's Divining Top. Um, which is good. But I personally don't like it 
<laughs> you know, I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to be topping. I don't want you to be topping. I don't think anybody should be topping. Unless you're playing in a Yu-Gi-Oh event, then congratulations for topping. You cannot pick top after all the smacked. I agree with you. And I wouldn't do it. The goal is to go infinite with this guy. And then make them draw their entire deck and kill them like that. Let's take Treachery, because that's really good for a mono blue deck. We're not really a Mystic Forge deck currently. But the only artifact here is a Portal to Phyrexia, and that costs 9 mana, so... What if I'm having ice cream and I want something on it? <laughs> That's true. You can put some toppings on there. I I approve. I have Felice Navidad stuck in my head, and I don't actually know why. Hmm. Two Talismans, a Might and Weak Stone, an Archon of Cruelty, and a Traxa. This pack's actually really good. Necromancy, Expressive Iteration, Sir and Zong. Sir, this is a Wendy's. I kind of, I kind of just think it's Might and Weak Stone. It can cast Gear Hulk. It can cast Battle Sphere. Like, if we ever do get an Urza, like I'm kind of okay with playing that in Lauren. It does draw us two. I don't think Talisman of Resilience is the pick. Yeah, we'll keep on the artifact train. Ledger Shredder. Chart of course. Lotus Petal, Off-Color Talisman. It's also pack two. Actually, that's not that's not terrible. Uh, I like Rafine's Tower because if we if it lets us splash both Demonic Tutor and a white card if we play it. So I'm gonna actually take Rafine's Tower here. There are very few artifacts in this draft, I've noticed. Sahili seems pretty good. Let's take a Sahili. That gives us a bunch of artifacts. Uh, Treasure Cruise, huh? Well, I don't think so. Goblin Welder, but we're not red. Remember that time that our opponent Treasure Cruise and we had uh, double Orcish Bowmasters in play? Because that was pretty cool. I kind of think it's Wandering Emperor here. I feel like white is going to be the most likely color we go with. Maybe it's Dam for that same reason. Now nah, let's take the Wandering Emperor. Savine's Reclamation is interesting. You can get back a Chromo Seed Shark. Can't get back a Time Walk, though. Get back a Retrofitter Foundry. Hmm, this pack's pretty uneventful for us. I'll just take Reclamation here. Or we can take Containment Priest as like a sideboard card. Sure. Wow, Thran Dynamo came back. Skydiver. I think it's Dynamo here. I don't like passing a Thieving Skydiver because I think the card is very good. Uh, Skyclave Apparition is also very good. This deck's kind of all over the place right now. I have no idea what we're doing. Scale Lord, interesting. I'm just taking the Scale Lord. Maybe we just play it. It's one white. Not bad. I got to pull off. I got to pull off Oath of Oath of Druids in a Soul Tide build last night. First time ever, dude. Congrats. What did you hit with your Oath of Druids? T 
Tell Papa about your oath. Gather around, kids. Tell Papa Franco about your draft. Okay, sure, I'll take a giver of runes. Oh, wow, two more white cards, huh? Okay. Well, the white is clearly open. Probably definitely playing Lauren. Oh, a mana crypt. Fantastic. If upheaval tables, and we get a bunch more mana things. Yeah, we're taking mana crypt. If Tefri, Palantir, or upheaval come back, I'll be very, very happy. But right now we're taking mana crypto. Oh, Watson's getting in his little bed. I heard a little noise, and I was like, what's that noise? And it was Watson, and he's getting in his little bed. What are you doing, little champ? Oh my god, what a little, what a little adorable rascal. Um, Yeah, Steel Seraph is good, but I actually kind of think Sphinx might be better. Like, we should have ways to cast it with Rafine's Tower in any land we pick up. And we also have Tinker. And I think this is just a much cooler Tinker target. I'm actually... This might table, though. But then I'd rather... I think we take Image and hope Sphinx tables. That seems better. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you ever just you ever just push your push your Adam's apple back and forth a little bit? No, because that's really weird. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take Rona here. Rona is very good. Ideally, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Also, Shugarn, you just said Steel, so that could have gone either way. <laughs> steel Seraph or Sphinx of the Steel Wind. They're both made of steel. Don't you know? I actually don't know. I thought it was St Steel Seraph, but now I'm not sure. Also, I just found out today that I was I was able to get in to the Wilds of Eldraine early access at the very last minute. Uh, I haven't been in early access in like probably like a year and a half, two years maybe. I don't know. Since before I was at Scopely probably, but I emailed them and I was like, hey, can I get in this? Oh, wow, Talisman actually seems great here because it's the two colors we're trying to splash. That's interesting. So, yeah, if you guys have any decks that you want me to try out or you want me to play, let me know. And I would love to try them. That's, like, the best color. Uh, if it's not blue, this is the best Talisman we could get. And also, now this one is blue, so that's cool. Uh, Also, Palace Jailer. Yep, now we're taking this Talisman. All right, so now we're at 25 cards. Where's an Urza Saga when you need it? Also, I have some other some other cool magic magic news. But I, I don't think I can tell it yet. Godzelly, did you change your name? <laughs> what a little rascal. Um, I like a brazy bee. I think Concealed Courtyard's good too, but I think Brazen Bar is just better. We could also just Armageddon here. Talisman, Mana Crypt, Talisman, Thran Dynamo. I made a Blue Sky account and Zelly was taking some of the God Zelly show. That's actually much funnier. I didn't catch it at first, but that's on me, not on you. I think it translates very well, so. Okay, that's actually hilarious. I'm going to take Brazen Bar. I feel the most comfortable with that guy being in my pool. Wow, 10 11. Another blue blue talisman, eh? Also, Porcelain Legionnaire. It's got to be... Is it third talisman? Is that too many talismans? I don't think so. All right, we're looking for Upheaval. We're looking for Sphinx of the Steel Wind. 
We also have this magma opus that we can just cast with Torrential Gear Hulk. Return not only permanent with mana value X or less for your go to the battlefield or X is that creature's power. That's wild. This card. Oh, we did it. That's exciting. We have Retrofitter and Mana Crypt to get. Oh, yeah. That's the dream. I don't think Blue, Blue Sun Zenith is that great here. I don't think we're going infinite in any way. It's also a pretty bad hit off of Urza. Oh, wow. Palantir came back. Sphinx of the Steel Wind? This is pack one, right? Yeah, we're waiting for pack two. But anyway, Palantir is amazing, so we're definitely taking that. Sphinx of the Steel Wind didn't come back, but Venser did. So did Steel Seraph. Fascinating. I think it's Steel Seraph here. Oh, an Ulamog. That guy's sizable. Well, it might actually be Ulamog. Can we cast this Ulamog? It's not looking out of the question, especially with artifacts. Aetherflux Reservoir. Fascinating. I don't think we're, I don't think we have enough for an Aetherflux Reservoir, but I will definitely take a Hangerback Walker. Wow. All right. They're probably trying to reanimate it like, like a bunch of nerds. Yeah. I just have a lot of cuts here and I'm not really loving that. I think Blue Sun Zenith can go. Probably cut Guardian Scale Lord. Maybe cut the double white cards. And we're splashing like Demonic Tutor and Lauren. I actually feel much better about that. We also have a lot more artifacts now. But we didn't get Upheaval back. We didn't get Sphinx of the Steel Wind. So our biggest like Tinker target right now is just Steel Seraph. But... Or not Steel Seraph, but uh, Mirror Battle Sphere, rather. Mirror, ba Mirror Battle Sphere... sphere s I can't. I was going to try to make a portmanteau of these two, but it, it's... Also, Torrential Gear Hulk's kind of rough because our only hit is Magma Opus. <laughs> so it's like, it's kind of like a mishmash of like, Tinker's not the best. Torrential Gear Hulk's not the best. Yeah, mere battle steel is what I was going for. But the words weren't coming. <laughs> oh, Lord. I mean, Torrential Gearhook not being able to hit Sorceries is pretty rough when we have Time Walk and Demonic Tutor. I mean, do we just... What if we just cut the the other colors? Then we lose Demonic Tutor and Lauren. But... Now this is 23. We could also just put in an Ulamog and count this as a... We could also put in this talisman instead of hierarchy for magma opus consideration. Not like, it, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I guess, I guess we can cast it off of that. And then we don't need the tower and then we can just play this and like, I do kind of like Ulamog. Does it say colorless? Non-artifact spells. Well, that's stupid. See, it's tricky because this one says artifact spells and colorless spells. I feel like 10 mana should not be hard to get to, especially with Thran Dynamo. And uh, if we get Urza, like all of the tokens from Seed Shark are going to count, or Sahili, like all of these are going to be artifacts we can just tap for mana. Mike B is fine. He hates his job, but you know, don't we all? 
<laughs> just kidding. I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I wish it, like, it's, it's sad because it doesn't work with Tinker, obviously, but... And then we can just play Urza's and like 15. Whoa. Oh my God. I love this. Oh, oh my God. This is so fucking cool. Oh, oh my God. I'm such, I'm such a simp for fucking cool basic lands. That's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Wow, what are the, what is this one? Oh, unhinged. Yeah. Can we get the um Oh, oh wow, this is cool. This is so cool. Not a ton of options yet, but the potential for this is really cool. <gasps> I mean, I'm still just going to go with John Avon lands here, but this is super cool. Oh, man. I'm just, like, unreasonably excited about this. Dude, I absolutely love... I love... I'm such a sucker for customization on basic lands. Like I love basic lands. They might would be my favorite part of magic. And like, I just pick up old, uh, basic lands and like retro boarded basic lands from like Odyssey and invasion. When like, whenever I can, whenever I find some, I like, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me pick up 20 of these. So like, I'm just such a sucker for like having cool sets of basic lands. So this is 16 lands in mana crypt, two talismans, is Enduro good enough here? We have 10 creatures, but we're also making a ton with Sahili, with Chromo Seed Shark, with Urza. We can steal creatures. Actually, this feels pretty decent. Retrofitter Foundry gives us a bunch of things. Damage still happens with all draws. Yeah, because right, yeah, because it doesn't matter if they go to the graveyard. And the trigger doesn't happen until they do go to the graveyard. So. All right, we're going to try it like this. We'll see if this Ulamog is just a is just a meme that's And then you get to make two more creatures with it as well, so that's cool. I will play first. Yeah, we can keep this. I can go turn two hanger back. That seems fine. Unless we draw like a talisman and then we got to turn three years though. Beautiful. That guy's going to be problematic. It doesn't feel great not splashing Demonic Tutor, but I think our mana base is it's better for it, you know? <laughs> Extra has some problematic views for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but. Not great, Bob. I got this little fan and sometimes I put it on and it's really refreshing, but then I'm like, oh God, my face is drying out. My company is making the TNG slot game so they gave us free shirts and com badges and triple keychains i may have gotten a few com badges 
<laughs> dude, that's awesome. Oh man. That's pretty cool, dude. I like it's so funny how TNG is still so much a part of the the cultural you know, I don't know the word. What am I looking for? Well, this guy's a pain in the ass now. Zeitgeist. Nice. Yes, that'll do. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Four people said cultural zeitgeist. Sammy with the gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, my dude. Really, really appreciate it. What a goddamn Thank hero. You. Oh my god, you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Do you think they're going any further, or did they just channel to make this guy a... Uh... Thank you. Terminal Hex Drinker is a, an actual beast. It's not just a snake, it's a beast as well. It should say level 8, this becomes a beast, protection for everything. And then Thank you can sack it to Ravenous Baloth. Which is cool. I will not block because, you know. Okay, well. It's not looking good. I, I don't know if you guys knew this. Protection from everything is kind of hard to deal with. Hmm. It's almost like it invalidates everything. It is good. It is good. Uh, a lot of your cards are things. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I drafted a deck with a bunch of things in it. And unfortunately, it doesn't work very well against Hex Drinker. What is this? You gonna play something else? Sure. Okay. Okay. What's the plan, Stan? Big Urza. Check it and see. Let's go. All right, we're not, do we attack here, put them to seven? We might have to block with Urza if we do that. Like they might go land, sack it, make this guy a four, and then we have to block. Is that good? Yes, because if they go to seven, plus we have two flyers here. So we have lethal on board, and if they somehow if they whiff on a creature, if they attack with both and we block and we hit a land, we can treachery one. I don't know. We have a couple outs, but it's like it's not looking great. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. That's a solid blocker. Okay, that's actually great, because now they can't attack with Tireless Tracker profitably. Oh, that's... That's nice. Alright, so that gives us a good amount of mana, actually. Okay, oh, life gain is not nothing. Does that matter? <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to hard cast it. So what do we have mana wise? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. So 
they could block the hanger back walker. And then, you know what happens after that? They sack with the, the tribe elder and we don't gain the life. We could steal Tireless Tracker. I think we have to steal something here. Like, the only way to survive here is to cast this, right? Like, I mean, how much mana do we have? <laughs> like, we don't have six, nine mana here. Four, five, six. I don't know where we're getting the mana to do both of these things. Uh... <sighs> like, flying is great, but how does that keep us alive? We have four, five, six. It's kind of not enough. It's literally one shy of where we need to be. Okay, so hold on. We have four, five. We could play treachery and steal something. I don't know if that matters. We actually lose a mana if we do that. If we play this for six, actually that might do it. Four, five, no, we have to, we don't have the mana for this. Like we don't have six that's not gonna tap our four, two or our three, three right now. Four, actually, we just need this guy, right? So wait, six, seven. But then this guy taps for one and we don't get a Sahili. Like, that's not going to work, right? Like, like where are we getting the mana frost? Oh, God. Like, we could just play this guy and attack. This is going to be four flying. Put some... To, like, we're so close. This is so awkwardly, like... What if we put it on Urza, then we have flyers? Can we do that? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We play this. We don't have enough to equip Urza though. Ah, We're one shy of where we want to be. That's super frustrating. Thank you. Wow, that's really frustrating. Odysseus, thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. 16 months, that seems low. Oh, what? We didn't, I don't think we had this. This is four, five, six in the air. They might have thought when we attack with Andural that the tokens are also attacking, but they're not. I was going to try to move it over here because if Urza attacked, he's legendary and that's the trigger to get the attacking creatures. So I was, the goal was to move it over to Urza so that we're attacking with four, five, six, actually one, two, three, four. Actually, we did we have enough? If we tap Hangerback Walker and Seraph to move Andoral over, that's four here, five, six, seven, eight. We did have it. Yeah, we had it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I guess, I guess we did have it. Our opponent knew better than we did. That was actually a ridiculously complicated turn. Wow, we outraced Hexdringer. That's pretty sweet. That was satisfying. I don't think any of these are super good. I think we're just going to submit.
Hmm. Yeah, okay. I will keep. If we get to play an Urza after Sahili. Mana Crypt. One time. One time. Oh, a CD boy. Well, I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna magma opus here. I think we're just gonna cast Talisman into probably Seed Shark. Yeah, because then we get the Sahili 3-3. Three, three. You got it. I also have a ramp spell on two. Mana Crypt. Dang, it's still not Mana Crypt. This is rude. <laughs> not Mana Crypt? Never lucky. Buddy, you're not kidding. I put a little sub goal in the lower right just so we can, can try to hit something each day. I felt like five was reasonable. That seems like a reasonable amount. Is it going to be a Leovold? That would be cool. I would be impressed if you got a Leovold. Instead, you're going to get a Reclamation Sage. And be a little, little dirt burger. Yeah, honestly, Seed Shark has been overperforming for me. Every time I have Seed Shark, I'm always like, wow, you made like five different... And like the creatures it makes are not nothing. Oh, Augur of Autumn. Interesting. Oh, we can play both of those. But do we want to is the question. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's why I gave you five subs, even though I prefer to just give you money from the Facebook. You know what? However you guys want to support is totally fine with me. I'm not picky when it comes to the support that I'm given. Are we, how close are we to just casting this? I mean, significantly closer right now, right? So we can actually go land, play Sahili, discard this end of turn, and then sl like slam a Torrential Gear Hulk. Also, we're casting this, so we get an 8-8 an eight, eight Sublime Creechy and a 1-1 one, one at the same time. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to attack here because I don't really want to have Sahili get hit. All right. This could be good. You're looking like a snag. That's funny. I do my own beard. I do all my beard work. But I, I was going to actually get a haircut today, but my... My gentleman said uh, he wasn't feeling great, so we rescheduled for Friday. It just gets long on the sides. That's really like the biggest. I'm just like, this is too long and un unwieldy. Uh, I would prefer Stanley Nichols. They did have protection. Smart. I do forget that a lot. <laughs> you know, because it doesn't really say it anywhere. It's not like it's a thing that's just on the board. Oh, that's going to be rough. I guess we do also need one more mana. Oh, no, we have the, the treasure token. I'm so smart. Hmm. Okay, well... Oh, 2,000 Stanley Nichols! <laughs> Irk, man, really appreciate you, buddy. What a saint. 
Okay, so Geralt comes down. They're just going to make this guy a big fat idiot next turn, I assume. Wait, they didn't level it up completely? Oh, well, I think we're definitely doing this now then. Interesting. That's a good question. Why would they leave up that land? Very, very, very interesting. If only I had two extra mana here. <sighs> That's frustrating. <laughs> there is no swan song in the queue, but that is a good guess. Man, oh man, that's frustrating. I guess we get in there with this guy. I mean, the worst we... The, the, I mean, we, we have to try, though, right? Like, we can't wait till we get eight mana. Oh, oh. We figured it out. Oh my god, this is going to be a blowout. Uh, one, two, your face for two, so one, one. Uh, done. Doesn't matter. Tap, tap. Done. Make an eight, eight. Make it a one, one. Draw two cards. Well, technically, you did not make an 8-8. Eight, eight. You made a artifact incubator token. It has no power and toughness because it's not actually a creature, you see. That felt good. I guess we should have let this resolve first. That would have been smart because now they can choose something related to that. I guess I didn't want to think like, oh, if you have... um. You know, if they have, like, Force of Will or something in their deck, something weird. I didn't want to, like, fall victim to that. I guess they don't draw it, though. So, yeah, there's no reason I shouldn't have just let that resolve. I think I just got way too excited about killing their, their Hex Drinker with a Magma Opus. They're also at 13. <laughs> like. And cutting off that Rafelos was felt pretty good. Yep, that's fine. Buddy, I got creatures for days. Oh, that's good. I did forget about the time walk. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm actually somewhat afraid of what they could possibly do here. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. They're just going to hard cast Emrakul. Ready? Here we go. Yep, they could not tap their mana any quicker. Ten. It's going to be sad when we have to concede this game, right? Oh, they just drew four. Okay. Yeah, that's not as bad as Emrakul, I guess. What do you get rid of? Eight, eight? Sure. And the one ring. <laughs> okay. That's actually fine. Okay, Mox, sure. Ulamog getting rid of your own one ring, huh? If we could draw an Urza here, does that do anything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not yet. Thank you. Oh, homeschool Joey, thank you for the for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. You know, those are prime accounts to do things like subscribe and send my parents things to prep for a colonoscopy. <laughs> what a, what a, what a son. What an absolute saint of a son. Took an artifact becomes a copy of another artifact.
Eight eight, huh? It's pretty good. Boy, that's good. They have a lot of things happening here. So do we just try to stay alive for one turn and I don't feel like we're dead here, which is interesting. We can play Dynamo into Battlesphere, right? No. Five, six. We only have six mana, actually. We can go Dynamo into Mystic Forge. And then next turn we have five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. And if we hit any land... Thankfully, none of these things have reach, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna hit the one that can ultimate us next turn. They're also at ten. Something like a Steel Seraph here seems really good. This makes a 4-4 a four, four Incubator token and a 1-1. One, one. That's kind of cool. And this does the same. Oh, we can also copy Dynamo. That's true. Uh, all right, we're probably going to exile that. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's, yeah, okay. Um, I kind of just want to play this now, even though there's a risk. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's make sure not to deck ourselves, though. Because they're going to hit for 20 here. But we're also getting a lot of power on the board. And now we have an Ulamog next turn to clear out some blockers. Let's see if this actually does anything for us. If they just cast Crater Hoof, we're obviously dead, but... I wanted to get her off of plus her, her off of negative seven range because obvious reasons. Hey there. destroy an artifact what are you hitting you're hitting the mid oh that's actually fine <laughs> that's totally fine you fool they have seven cards a lot. Oh god. I did not see the combat hall. I heard about what it where did you show it? Oh god. Oh good, they're just getting crater off. Why not just do this first? <laughs> Why even kill my thing? Like, oh, Woodfall Primus. I'm all this is okay. That's fine. I think I think we're actually in quite solid shape. Chad, this hall is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Look at all those tribbles. I feel like with Ulamog and all of our guys, we could possibly win next turn, but then again, they have a lot of blockers. They're definitely attacking with Ulamog. So we have three cards left in our deck. Oh, they're attacking with everything. Fascinating. Fascinating. 
this is very fascinating. Okay, block you, block you, block you, block you, and block you, I guess. Sure. That seemed good for us. This exiles, right? Exiles the top 20 cards, sure. Oh no, it's not, no, the, the, the targets. They only have 15 cards. If we can haste this guy and play, exile two permanents, yeah, okay. I have no idea what's left in our deck and I'm not gonna try to figure it out. We can just wait. Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a lot of blockers. Tails never fails. Tails has started failing a lot recently. Must be a bug. Okay. Well, the problem is we have to win here or not at all. So they're technically at eight because of our flyer. We can get rid of two blockers. Which I think is probably enough. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we Sahili and turn this zero zero into a Thran Dynamo. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to copy the counters. So I think we have to do that. Target artifact you control becomes a copy. Choose target artifact you control. This one becomes a copy of, or we can make it a five, five. So three, let's wait on that. Yeah, that might be better. Um, Excel you and you, I guess. Like this is our last turn because we're at two cards, so. Um, and then we have two mana. So if we copy Thran Dynamo, we can make it, the best we're doing is making one more incubator token, which feels worse than just making a second. Uh, choose another target creature, this one. Oh, we could have actually just made it an Ulamog? Or we do we have to target artifacts? Another target. Oh, okay, we just win. Doesn't matter. Target artifact becomes a copy of another artifact or creature. Oh my god, we could have just played Ulamog. It doesn't matter. I, I was also thinking we could make a mere battle sphere copy and then attack with that one so that it's another four damage. But yeah, that was either way, that was pretty sweet. How often do you get to win after exiling top 20? Yeah, the, it's so funny because the second game they exiled 20 with Ulamog and the first game they hex drank her on turn like two. So, I mean, those are pretty good games. Yeah, okay, I'll keep this hand. Hex Dranker, past tense of Hex Dranker. He, he, he once drank. Now he drinks no more.
Oh dear. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Well, at least next turn we can make a blocker for it, right? <laughs> All right, they get a hit off of us. Oh my god, they did say revelate a lot. <laughs> oh man, revelate for four. It's going to be a talisman watch. It was in Ulamog. Well, I guess that's fine. We don't really want to draw that, so... Interesting. I've never seen anyone activate the ability on braids before. Is that a thing people do? So whenever Raymond does damage, okay, they don't get shit until they deal damage. Got it. Doesn't feel great to time walk here. We can definitely make better use of it. Yeah, why don't you cast that Ulamog? Coward. Well, I don't think they're attacking with Ragavan here unless they have an answer, but, you know. Um, let's get, let's get our bounce on. Cause they can't even recast this guy without another black. And even if they do, like that's their turn, you know, whatever. Oh, they had it. That's too bad. Oh, they played it again. Oh, that's too bad. Interesting. If I had one more mana, it'd be great. Because <laughs> then I can go like Thran Dynamo into activate this guy or these two or this into this or no, that doesn't work. None of these things work or even make that big of a difference. I don't think Hanger Back here is the answer. I think we just actually keep up Retrofit or Foundry again. Or Brazen Bar, or if we really want to get sassy. Like, I'd rather hang her back for two here. Oh, no, they're going to take my time walk. No, don't like that. Look, they did. They did the exact thing I said they were going to do. They took Thran Dynamo instead of Time Walk. That's fascinating. Okay. Get that D Toots. I'm wondering if the sub goal should be at the top instead of the bottom in this upper left. Is it better to have both features on the right or both features on the top? I'm asking the hard hitting questions here. center bottom hmm fascinating yeah that is where i always had stuff but i'm trying to like make it less cluttered and i feel like between my face center bottom and the something on the right like 
I feel like it's getting more cluttered. Also, center again. 30% transparency actually seems like that's probably the right pick, yeah. God, we're doing all this before combat, too. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. I'm just taking three here. Sakurai is a permanent that shares a type with that. No, I'm good. Thanks. Land. Oh, beautiful. I'm beautiful. So I'm tempted to time walk here and cast like Phantasmal Image on like Brazy Bee. What's that put them to nine? No, 11. They take nine. But then again, if they're going to reanimate something, I'd rather make a copy of whatever they reanimate. Yeah, I could copy their braids. I just don't want a braids. I just don't want that shitty creature. That's all. And then we'll just make hangerback for two, which should be harder to deal with at least. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but yeah, that's not terrible. Let's see what you're pitching here. Yeah, you don't want to copy their braids and then be like, look, we got the same haircut. That's awkward. Are you wearing the same outfit to the party? Come on. This is some, this is some serious hardcore looting they're doing. Okay, it doesn't seem academic here, at least. Okay, now they're discarding the reanimation spell. <laughs> That's bad news. Okay, two cards in hand. Nothing to reanimate here except for an Evolved Sleeper. But you could have cast that as well and you chose not to, so that's interesting. That's an interesting choice you've made. Hmm. Oh, no. They've changed their mind. Sack of land again. They're hemorrhaging resources. <laughs> oh, no, I'm Gucci. They're like, you know what, Bizarre of Baghdad? The hell with you. Bizarre over Baghdad. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just keep these two up and attack with this guy. And we're one man away from mere battle sphering, so that's that's kind of neat. So wait, we can sack. Can we sack this? <laughs> 
<laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, that's pretty good. But now we can copy that, so that's cool. Trust me, you always want to be the one with the with the final bowmaster. Um, yeah, I guess I'll pass here. <laughs> you got it. It's a good one. I would know. I put it in my deck. Also, if they start drawing cards off braids, like Orcish Bowmaster. I wonder if they're gonna do I wonder if they're gonna sack something. Oh, they chose not to. They have one card in hand. So that's actually probably pretty good for us. We do too, but our board has a lot more action going on. Oh no. Rankle. Rankle and Stankle. I guess we're both going to lose our cards. Oh, they don't have a card. Well played. Is this whenever it attacks? Deals combat damage. Interesting. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, Sack a servo, make a thopter. Man, this card's really good. <laughs> Block, make a 4-4. Seems good. What are you going to sacrifice? The answer was nothing. That does give us... Mere Battle Sphere. And then we have no cards in hand, so we're not actually super worried about Rankle at that point. Um, yeah, all their creatures have one toughness except for braids, so that means we can get in there pretty easily and either take two creatures with us or just the one, sure. Yeah, we're just going to slam this guy. Your move. Top deck mode for everyone, but our, our board is... Pretty OP right now. Fatal push targeting Bowman, sure. You got it. It's the least of my concerns. Uh, we don't really have anything we can do, right? We don't have any Thopters to sacrifice yet. <coughs> However, if they do make us sacrifice a creature, I don't think they're going to do that. That seems terrible for them. Discarding a card seems terrible. Loses the life and draws a card seems fine. Let's do that. Yep. Wait, what? Is there a card on the board that's preventing me from drawing a card? Each player loses one life and draws a card. Why didn't I draw a card? Am I missing something? Am I going crazy? Is there a Narset on the board that I'm just not seeing? What the fuck? <laughs> what? All right. 
Well, that's weird. Okay, we're just gonna clip this. That's insane. What time was it? 2.43, all right, hold on a second. Wow, what a cool bug. 2.43 p.m. MDT. All right. Am I missing? Like, just, can I, am I missing something? Is that a thing? Like, they just get to draw a card? They get, they get to Phyrexian Arena themselves and I don't get anything? Seems good. Wow, Rankle's much better than I thought. So I guess a permanent that shares a type. Sure, I mean, that's... <laughs> um... So I guess a servo. We don't have any servos. Fascinating. So how much... What, what does it take? Two, three... Okay, so just one, two, three, four... Okay, so we can actually make a servo to block Rankle. That's not going to be super problematic. Okay, I'm trying to click them all. Yeah, so they have to block here, so. Oh, yeah, get rid of both those guys. Oh, yeah, just don't get rid of any, either of them. Oh, just double block. All right. Everybody goes in the graveyard. Yeah, like, you probably just don't want to rankle in the queue if, like, whenever you <laughs> attack, like, if it's that bugged where, like, your opponent just never draws a card. Sure, Inquisition and Swamp. Bombs of a Baghdad. Fascinating. Uh, one, two... Okay, they're, I'm like, they're like, what if he doesn't see it? No, he saw it. He knows. I kind of like bringing Containment Priest. Take out Rafine's Tower for one of these. We'll take out like three islands for three planes, probably. And let's go a little heavier on the white. We'll bring Containment Priest in. Bring in Talisman of Creativity. No, wait, that was the one we just took out. A Hierarchy. Um, I don't want any double white cards. Maybe Lauren is probably good. Maybe not. Chad, have a great afternoon, buddy. Rankle's moving up from not playable to borderline playable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wall of Omens was the card I wanted to bring in. And Guardian Scale Lord, probably. So what do we take out? Brazen Bar actually seems a little weak when they have that one gentleman. Uh, Treachery probably doesn't seem super exciting here. Isn't that weird? We'll take out the Ulamog.
I retract my previous statement that you should have copied his braids. I appreciate that. Uh, this hand's not ex super exciting, but they're on the on the play and they mulled the six, and we have two three drops. I think if we can hit mana crypt or talisman, it's pretty good. But, but land 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 gets the job done. Awkwardly enough. Okay, we're just on the uh, just on the model land train here. Okay, well that's good. Okay, well they seem like they're having quite an unexciting time. Mm, this is fascinating. Well, I was gonna play Palantir, but now I wonder if I just play Urza. And the answer is yes. Because next turn we can actually play Might and Weak Stone and then tap both for Palantir. So that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, we will not be melding. <laughs> it's Urza. Why can't I meld? They haven't played anything. What's going on? Are they doing some shenanigans here? Oh god, and this makes tokens you can tap with Urza. Cool five five. Uh I guess I'll just draw two. Not terrible. Make three three. That also taps for mana. Fatal push. You got it. Um, I'll put this on the top and I'll put this on the top of that. And if they want to mill this six drop, they can take six. Totally fine. It sounds good. <laughs> Just eat six. Fuck, oh, dude. This card is so insane. I've had good experiences every time I played this. We got to scry two and they took six. Now they're going to whiff on a duress. This game's over. I mean, we also have eight power on on board in these in the form of these incubators. Got all the random main cards and crystal brand, but no ways to discard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> well, that's the end of that. This deck has been performing quite well, so let's see if we can continue that trend. Chrome host seed shark is OP. Like, I'm just very very impressed with it. This is a handle. <laughs> He's just got the most random shit in the world on his desk. You can also pretend it's a telephone. If you guys, if you guys ever have used telephones like this, I don't know if you guys have used telephones that look like this. They look kind of like bananas. For those who don't know. Yeah, this hand's a keeper. Got that talisman of progress. How long until the phone icon on the phones isn't recognizable by anybody? It's, that's a, actually a very interesting question. It reminds me of that meme where someone has a floppy disk and then their kid's like, oh, you 3D printed the save icon. And you're like, oh, Jesus. God. Mana Crypt? Oh, never Mana Crypt. Um, yeah, there's going to be a certain point where like the icons we use are just not associated with the objects anymore, you know? Oh, wow. Catch her to try him into Swamp, huh? 
I wonder if it's limited to the lands that you own. That's interesting. Mana Crypt. You know what? You're never going to give me Mana Crypt, are you? They're never going to do it. They'll sooner give me an Ulamog every game than they will a Mana Crypt once. So I kind of like Time Walk into either Talisman, Phantasmal Image, or Palantir. We could also just play Talisman here. And then next turn we'll have four so we can go Time Walk, Phantasmal Image. And then the, yeah, actually let's do that. I'm not too worried about, you know, obviously the later you can Time Walk, the better. Oh yeah, now they got an Urza Saga one too. Boy, they're living the they're living the life here. This is pretty good, because now we just get to draw cards from this guy. And ours never flips because it's not a it doesn't have a backside. No, it still dies, though. That's sad. All right. Uh, put this on the bottom. Put this on the top. And if they want to take five, knock yourself out. God, they just hate giving you cards. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Jesus. They just take so much damage. All right. There goes me hand. And we have a Rona and a Palantir on board. Can we just flip this next turn? That seems good. Let's do that. Let's see if that does anything cool. I mean, hitting an Ulamog out of my hand is actually not the worst. This is basically like discarding one card. I wonder if it's better to... I mean, they're at 10 here. I don't want either of these. Oh my god, they just took they just took five. God. Well, Rona's now lethal and they have to give me cards, I assume. Good lord, man. They've literally taken ten damage from this. I mean, they have to have an answer for Rona here, right? Yeah, okay. You can't transform it back or anything, right? Yeah, that's fine. Don't be a land. Hang her back. I mean, whatever we put on top, we get to draw now, so that's kind of cool. Wow. Uh, bottom both of these. All 
All right. I mean, should we have done hangar rack for four and played around days? That seems kind of weird. So it looks like a Sultai deck, but we haven't seen any green cards. Does that hit anything, or is that just like a big fat idiot? It's just a big fat idiot right now. But it is, in fact, a big fat idiot. <laughs> uh, bottom this, top this. Yeah. If we had one more mana, we could actually do both. We could do all the things that we want to do. But right now, we're probably just going to Magma Opus here. We're going to Mopus. Can't block either. Of the we could also just play Torrential Gear Hulk and hope it connects. Guess it depends on what they do, right? Yeah, they always have something. Mana leak. Yeah, I think we might be dead here. That is not going to do it. I guess we can block this. Well... Bottom that, top that, and we'll just take it, I guess. Man. Takes 10 off Palantir. Yeah, flip your incubator. You got it. So this is 6 damage? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, especially if you're getting time walk. <sighs> Mind twist. Okay. So long, hand. I was really hoping to get a mirror battle sphere out and then mirror battle sphere out and then copy it, but I guess not. Unfortunate. I think we're actually dead here now. They, this, is, this is quite a recovery from now. I wonder if there was a point where we messed up. That's interesting. Do we just win here? We play Brazen Borrower, make this a copy of Borrower. That's pretty good. Oh man, I <laughs> kill you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're at five. Like, playing out Gearhulk feels correct. Like, I don't think that was a mistake. Um, like what, did they see? what did we see? What were, like, the biggest things they had? Literally, like, 1-1, one, one, 
looter, chrome host seed shark. Um, mind twist kind of sucks. I don't think we have anything great to really bring in though. Yeah, I think our deck is good. I mean, if we draw like a mana crypt in our opening hand, that'd be nice. Along with spells to cast with it. <laughs> of course. I mean, Urza Saga Retrofitter Foundry, it's kind of like a mana, mana crypt, right? I'm sure we'll draw mana crypts on turn two, though. Should we have just not played this first turn? Yeah, I think that's that's my inexperience with Urza Saga. I think we wait because now we can only make one counter with it. Or we can only make one um one token with it. Sure. Two two islands. Totally fine. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. First time tinkering. They do have Mana Leak, though. Yeah, this is sad. We just missed out on two tokens. Like, this should be just a later game play. I just was not... Uh... So, one, two, three, four... I mean, if they want a mana leak here, then I just get to tinker. Like, we did see days in mana leak, so we could have actually played around one of those, but I guess they don't have it. They probably just have a removal spell instead. Yeah, there you go. So we got one, two, three, four, five mana. So if we hit a land, we can play around all of their presumed counter spells. Never mind. <laughs> Fantastic. Heads. Lost the flip. Of course I did. Oh, that's pretty good. Um. Hmm. I want to put both these on the bottom. I don't think they're high enough impact for what we want to do. Oh, they just took six. Cool. <laughs> Steel syrup in the bin. Oh, dear Jesus. God, people are so reckless with... Uh... Oh, that's sad. I hit, I hit cancel, but I guess I didn't hit it soon enough, so I don't get to make it guy. Hmm. That's interesting. One. It's it's awkward because our mana is such a way that we actually have to play this, but I think that's actually fine here. If they want to counter this, I'm totally fine with that. Sure. Oh, easy, easy bottoms. That's what they used to call me in college. Easy bottoms. Wow, they just milled two and they were lands. Holy crap, that's greedy. There's no way they can mill anymore, though. Like, that's got to be the end.
You're going to two. That is aggressive. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't do it for us. Oh, I think we want both of these. Um, interesting. Uh, put on top, sure. <laughs> sure. Yep. So what's a cycle? Five is a cycle. So we need six in order to... Six to make a flyer and seven to make a two creatures. Boy, Heads is killing it here. They have one card in hand. Is it a mana leak? If it is, it's very good. It was not. So we can't do much with this yet, but, oh, that's an easy, um, one, two, three, put that on top, put that on top of that. Oh yes. Wonderful. So next time we draw the land, we can go time walk, mystic forge, and then hope to hit, um, a land from your battle mere battle sphere i guess and this is also making two guys oh so then we just actually get to untap and just flip our guys oh this could be really good they have one card Play this first in case they do ran a leak. I feel like if they had a counter, they would have definitely countered us stealing their Chrome Host Seed Shark, which is puts us completely back in the game. Oh, looks like we got the GGs. Is this a is this a sick 306 though? Did we lose a game with this deck? Oh my god, that was beautiful. That deck was a blast, man. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you can find the things. And uh, really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.